An already impressive season is winding down for the Blue Gold men's basketball team with just two games remaining on the schedule before the WIAC tournament. There are still plenty of seeding scenarios to be determined, but conference champion UW River Falls has the top seed. The next three, however, have yet to be decided between Eau Claire, Whitewater, and Oshkosh. Last night in Zorn Arena, the Blue Golds against those top seed Falcons. Eau Claire up eight at the break. Chris Duff up and under. He finishes with 15 points. Falcons come back though. Alex Herring operating down low. River falls back within three. But the Blue Golds get that lead back up. Jack Martinick to Jared Schneiderman. Hits from the corner. That's a three. Eau Claire back up by eight. Now under six minutes to go. Jack Martinick taking it to the lane. Two of his 12 points. Blue Golds by six. Shot clock winding down, George Diekelman drills the three again, a six point lead now with a minute 42 to go, and then Josh White. Working down low, he finishes with 16, Blue Golds by six with a minute to go, and then under 10 seconds, Brent Erickson to Herrick, hoists the three and hits it. Eau Claire up 82 to 80, Diekelman would hit a free throw, last chance for the Falcons, Erickson no good for the win. Blue Golds get the 83 to 80 win over the fourth ranked Falcons. River Falls had beaten Eau Claire on a buzzer beater earlier this season, but this time Eau Claire hangs on. This was huge, great, great way to go off on a senior night. Obviously River Falls number four right now, top of conference. Uh, we thought we let one slip away there at their place, so get a little bit of revenge and knock off the top one in the conference right now. It was uh, a lot of fun and it was a huge win for us. We had a pretty bad taste in our mouth after that uh, uh, that River Falls game. We thought we'd let one slip and we did, but oh, this, the crowd was awesome and the, this game was super fun to play and good to get that win. Oh, well, as before mentioned, River Falls has locked up the top seed, but after that it gets a little tighter. With one game remaining, UW Eau Claire sits in third and will play at Whitewater on Saturday. Should they win, they would lock up at least a three seed and a tournament home game. Should they lose, it would be a four or a five seed depending on the outcome of the Stevens Point lacrosse game. Again, anything above a four would guarantee them a tournament home game. On the women's side of things, the Blue Golds find themselves in fifth place in the WIAC, one game behind UW Lacrosse, meaning they'll need a little help to clinch a home game in the conference tournament. Last night, they were on the road against UW River Falls. First quarter, Jenny LaCroix bringing it up, stops and pops from the key. She hits the pull-up jumper. Blue Golds with the early lead, but the Falcons would come back and respond. Haley Lau hits the three, and we are all tied up early. Blue Golds come back later in the first. Anna Grasscamp kicks to Arian Brennan. She's good from three. Blue Golds up by three. And now more from Eau Claire. Haley Hopner down to Grasscamp. Up and in. She finishes with a game high 18. The Blue Golds beat the Falcons in a close one, 44 to 41. So let's take a look at the women's standings now. With one game remaining on the schedule, UW Eau Claire is in fifth place, one game back of UW Lacrosse. If the Blue Golds can move up one spot, that will guarantee them at least one WIC tournament home game. Eau Claire will finish their season next Saturday against Whitewater, while Lacrosse hosts Stevens Point. The basketball teams aren't the only teams wrapping up their regular seasons. Last weekend, the Blue Gold men's hockey team finished off their regular season with their eyes on a conference championship. They would need a win against first place Stevens Point, though. First period, time winding down. Logan Fredwicks sends it on goal, and then Willen Nong Lambert backhands it in. Pointers take a 1-0 lead, and the Blue Golds would respond early in the second on the power play. Mac Jansen flings it on net. Patrick Moore. Buries it on the rebound, and we are all tied up one apiece. Pointers answer right back three minutes later, though. Check out this passing. Jacob Barber, the Lawrence Cornelier tic-tac goal. It's 2-1 to one Stevens point, and they're not done. Late in the period, Pointers with a man advantage. Drive right side to Cornelier. He centers it back to Ryan Bittner, who puts it in past the goaltender. Fredericks adds a late empty netter, and Stevens point wins over Eau Claire 4-1 to, to steal their conference title. The Blue Golds finished the season 16-6 and 3 overall and 5 and 3 in the conference, good for second place. So now with the regular season all wrapped up, the WIAC men's hockey tournament is set. UW Eau Claire has the two seed and will play a two home game series against third seeded River Falls next weekend, a team they beat twice already this season. Stevens Points gets the one seed and will play either Superior or Stout next weekend. 
As for the women's hockey team, they've also got the two seed. They'll play at home in a two-game series next weekend against third seed at Stevens Point. River Falls has a one seed. They'll host Superior. Come tournament time, keep it tuned in to TV10. We'll have all home games brought to you live on air and as always on BlueGolds.com. That'll do it for sports.